Indeed, so good evening and welcome to the 2017 Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce Rosie Awards. Before we do anything, we need to thank Kay Bowman. Kay, if you would stand up. Now you're probably wondering what we're thanking her for, and what it is is Kay made every one of those boxes that are on the table. Yes. And then she tied the bow, she put diamonds on everything, and she picked the menu tonight, which was amazing. So thank you, Kay. Kay. I'm Janie Parrish, the Executive Director of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. Let's everybody clap right now. <laughs> Andy Hill, I want a bigger clap from you than that. Okay. So anyways, we'll get going here, but I better put my glasses on because the next thing you know we're giving out the wrong awards. I saw the Oscars. Okay. Now I do have, well I got to tell you a story real quick. Um, I told this at Feeding Medina County, and it still cracks me up every time I think about it. My husband and I were uh, visiting one of the new businesses. We were going to our office, and I saw a new business getting ready to open, downtown Wadsworth, and so we knocked on the windows, and the lady let us in. So when we went in, I'm talking to the lady, telling her all about the chamber and how much fun it is and um, all the different benefits you get from the uh, chamber membership. And so as I'm talking, I thought she was kind of looking at me funny, and then finally she said, honey, you got lipstick on your teeth. <laughs> so we get in the car, and I turn to David, and I said, and David, raise your hand, honey. There he is. <laughs> I turned to David, and I said, why didn't you tell me that I had lipstick on my teeth? He goes, I don't look at you that much. <laughs> Okay, off we go. Tonight, we honor Wadsworth's top businesses, organization, and business professionals. The nominees were chosen by you, the Wadsworth Chamber members. The votes have been tallied, and the recipients will soon be announced. Doesn't that get exciting? At this annual gathering that has many different formats, there's one constant that remains. The nominees and winners here tonight have a great love for this city. They volunteer, they donate, they are active, and they are present. And they are the foundation of success, which Wadsworth is built on, a foundation of 203 years. Each nominee, whether a company, an organization, or an individual, demonstrates a spirit of excellence in serving our community. We celebrate the nominees as well as the people who served before us to make Wadsworth a great place to live and work. And we're grateful for these people and businesses for their support of the 2017 Rosie Awards. First of all, all our ph official photographer, Glenn Rutherford. Glenn, just raise your hand. And then I'll run down these, and how about we clap at the end, because I like to save the applause for me. So, you know, at the end it kind of peters out, so we'll just wait and do one big one. Okay, so John Burke, that's our Medina County treasurer, and played the piano. It, I just love his music. Barlett Cook Flower Shop for the creation of the lovely rose centerpieces. And then also I have to tell you, Michelle Reese, raise your mich hand, Michelle. Michelle and her husband spray painted all of those vases gold. Yay, that's pretty cool. Joanna Perino from WCTV. Where's Joanna? Oh, there. Um, and she did our evening's video, which you will so enjoy. John Matting, back there, John, raise your hand. He's going to be filming our 2017 um, awards tonight, so you can watch them over and over and over again. And then uh, Kay Bowman, Linda Parmley, Michael, and Michelle Reese for all of their help. I couldn't have done it without them. And then also David Cavalier and the great Galaxy staff. So now let's applaud. Applause. 
Okay, so then I wanted to thank Westfield Bank. The table's right here. Raise your hand, Westfield Bank. They're our big title sponsor. They have a lot of money. And so it was, it was really nice of them to share some with us. Okay, and then we have our table sponsors, which are Advanced Insurance Design, American Legion Post 170, who just are so kind to Wadsworth, Dr. Bruce Manning and Associates, um, Comdoc, Fast Signs of Medina. Where, where is Tobe Koss from Fast Signs? There he is back there, okay. I always like to thank those people who are here. McNeil's Cabinetry, which is Joe McNeil's dad, he had no choice. Nagy's Collision Centers, raise your hand, Nagy's. They don't seem real excited. Could you tell, it's like, yeah, kind of here. Um, and, and I did want, want to let you know, I have a car that's about 10 years old and it started getting kind of rusty, okay? So we could either take a vacation this summer or get a new car, so I said, adios, we're going on vacation. <laughs> So anyways, the other day I was looking at my car and um, I thought, gosh, that rust is getting really bad. And then, wouldn't you know it, I found a can of black spray paint in the garage. I fixed it myself. <laughs> we'll work on that later. Okay, and then Smith Sunway Cleaners, Paramount Plumbing, where are the Lewises? I'm sorry, the Reynolds, there they are. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Sabre Logic, Suprema, over here. This is a good look, look at this. Raise your hands. The, <laughs> and I was going to say that's one good looking group, but I can tell you're not excited there. Okay, the Post newspapers are in the back. Vori Sater, Seymour and Peace, LLP, that's part of Tom Crooks. Raise your hand, Tom. Okay, and then Wadsworth Real Estate, Karen, who couldn't be here with us tonight. So tonight we celebrate with eight categories of excellence, as well as the presentation of the Key to the City by Mayor Robin Lawbaugh. Okay, so we're going to start with Joe McNacka, and I'm going to stay on stage and, and hopefully pass out the right awards to the right person. Good evening, I am Joe Magnaca, and I am with Wadsworth City Schools, and I am the president of the Board of Directors for the Chamber this year. And some of you should probably uh, feel sorry for me, because I actually deal with Janie on a regular basis. Um, Dave, I, I, Dave, I do feel some of your pain, not, not all of it. In addition to the Rosie Awards this evening, each, re each recipient will be receiving uh, <clears throat> a certificate from governmental officials, including the Governor of the State of Ohio, John Kasich, U.S. House of Representatives of the 16th District, Jim Renisi, uh, the President of Ohio Senate, Larry Obhoff, Ohio House of Representatives of the 69th District, Steve Hambly, Ohio Secretary of State, John Houston, as well as the City of Wadsworth, Mayor Lobo. The first Rosie Award is for the Business Employee of the Year. Business Employee of the Year, Emily Canning Dean of the Post Newspapers. Emily Canning Dean, editor of the Wadsworth Post newspaper, has lived in Wadsworth for most of her life. After graduation from Wadsworth High School, Emily earned a bachelor's degree in English from the University of Akron and began working for a group of weekly community newspapers in Summit County. She married Eric Dean in 2002 and the couple chose to make Wadsworth their home. The Deans love their house on Crestwood Avenue where they live with their sassy cat, Mr. Muffins. While Emily has always been proud to be a Grizzly, she truly began to understand what a great community Wadsworth is when she began working for The Post four and a half years ago. Emily believes so many people work hard every day to make this community a wonderful place to live and work. Lisa Hartman of Goodwill Industries. Lisa Hartman, a sales associate at Goodwill Industries in Wadsworth, has found her calling at Goodwill. She began her career as a job assessment and then, after the management saw her sales skills, she was hired. Lisa is ever grateful for her job at Goodwill. Working at Goodwill has given her more confidence to explore different life experiences. Lisa's manager, Don Colley, has told her that he has received many phone calls from customers telling him that their experience at Goodwill was great because of Lisa's customer service. 
That warms her heart because those calls mean the guests know Lisa cares about them and goodwill. Lisa lives in Rittman with her husband of 25 years, Robert. She is active in their church, the Rittman United Methodist Church. And Lisa and Robert love to be around family and friends and enjoy just spending time together, especially making apple butter. Wendy Rogers of the Valley Cafe. Wendy Rogers is a server and hostess at the Valley Cafe, and she's honored to be considered for the Wadsworth Business Employee of the Year Award. She was born in Berea, Ohio, and graduated from Berea High School in 1988. She graduated in 1992 from the University of Toledo with a bachelor's degree in gerontology. Her husband Greg is a Wadsworth native, and the couple married in 1994, moving to Wadsworth in 1995. The Rogers welcomed their twins, Lauren and Jared, in March of 1998. Wendy worked as activities director at Magnolia Village Retirement Community until late 1999. For 13 years, Wendy was a preschool teacher at the Grizzly Club Preschool and then at First Christian Church. During this span, Wendy also taught Wadsworth Safety Town. Happily, Wendy has joined the close-knit team at Valley Cafe in Wadsworth. She believes in service with a smile and that happy customers return with friends, especially when it involves pancakes. And the recipient is Emily Canning Dean. I just want to really express my great appreciation for this. Um, the chamber and everyone in it has been so wonderful to work with over the last four and a half years. You guys really make my job so enjoyable. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to my parents who are here tonight, Marty and Jim Canning, and my husband Eric for being so supportive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Daryl Carey with Carey & Associates, and I'm the current treasurer of the board. I'd like to thank you all for coming today. I am, um, the next award is the business manager of the award of the year. Business manager of the year, Gary McComas of Suprema Incorporated. Gary McComas has been the plant manager at Suprema for the past five years, overseeing the manufacturing of commercial roofing as part of their building envelope enterprise. Suprema is a great company that puts employee safety first and recognizes that employees are their largest asset. Gary believes he is very fortunate to be part of a team that has successfully doubled sales in the USA in the last five years. Gary grew up in Rittman, Ohio, and attended Kent State University, where he obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Manufacturing Operations in 1988. He married his high school sweetheart, Jody, in 1992, and the McComases have four wonderful children that they chose to raise in Wadsworth. Gary and Jody have lived in Wadsworth since 1998, and all of their children are very active in school and sports. Gary appreciates being involved in the community and giving back to the community he loves. Joe McNeil of Westfield Bank. Joe McNeil, the Vice President of Commercial Banking for Westfield Bank, has always had a heart for Wadsworth and entertaining. You probably recognize Joe as the Easter Basket Scholarship Auction Auctioneer, the 60 Baskets in 60 Minutes guy. He grew up in Wadsworth and still lives here with his wife Bree and their three children. He is active in Sacred Heart Church, the past president of Leadership Medina County, and serves as the treasurer of the Wadsworth Rittman Hospital Foundation. But oh, there's more. Joe has a love of music and for many years had his own DJ business, Big Ears Entertainment. He now co-hosts a weekly radio program on Wadsworth Community Radio called The Business Spotlights on Wadsworth. Joe graduated from the University of Akron and did not follow his family into the carpentry business. His dad, Pat McNeil, says that the only tool Joe knows how to use is a pencil. Steve Moore of Wadsworth City Schools. 
Steve Moore is the principal of Wadsworth City Schools and is a 1992 graduate of Kent State University with a bachelor's degree in education. He received a master's degree from the University of Akron in 1997 in secondary administration. For six years, Steve was a math teacher at Highland High School and the athletic director for nine years at Highland, Brunswick, and Wadsworth schools. He was an assistant principal at Wadsworth for six years and then for the past four years has been the principal at Wadsworth High School. Steve has been a member of the Wadsworth Lions Club for the past 10 years and a member of the Northeast Ohio Dance Board of Directors. He is a 2009 graduate of Leadership Medina County. Steve grew up in Garrettsville, Ohio and has lived in Wadsworth for the past 24 years. He and his wife, Jill, are celebrating 18 years of marriage and have two children, Matt, 16, and Megan, 14. Steve is living the dream of being a high school principal, especially while his children are attending the same school. We've often heard him say that he has the greatest job in Ohio and loves it very much. And the recipient of the Business Manager of the Year is Joe McNeil. There's a good chance that uh, a lot of you don't recognize me, so hang on one second. Okay, okay now does it look more familiar? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it, it's uh, an absolute pleasure to win this award, uh, growing up in Wadsworth and uh, being involved in the business community here has been uh, a true blessing for me. Working uh, with this lady that we all know in this room you can't say no to. And if you do, she won't hear it anyway. <laughs> it has been great. Uh, but th the one thing that really um, makes this possible, honestly, is working for a company that not only allows you to be involved in your community, but encourages it. And that's what Westfield has always done. So uh, without them, this thing wouldn't have been possible. So thank you, everyone. It's truly an honor. Good evening, I'm Tom Crooks of the Voorhees Law Firm. Also a, uh, the representative to the Economic Development Committee for the Chamber. This award tonight is for the Business Entrepreneur of the Year. Business Entrepreneur of the Year. Ron and Dan Nagy of Nagy Collision Centers. Ron and Dan Nagy grew up in Doylestown and graduated from Chippewa High School. They both started very young in their father's body shop business. One of their father's requirements was to work for another business. Dan worked at Action Auto Wrecking and Ron at Don's Body Shop. By the mid 80s, they were both back at their father's business, busy as technicians. In 1996, they purchased the Doylestown business and started their journey as entrepreneurs. Since then, they have opened 12 locations, which include 10 body shops, an automotive detailing center, which also does bed liners and rust proofing, and a power sports repair business. They are very active outside of the business. Dan sits on the Chippewa School Board, nonprofits, and teaches at church. He married Karen Ritzman from Norton, and they have four children. Ron spends his time also serving on several nonprofit boards and teaches at church. He married Christine Wyrith from Wadsworth. They both live in Chippewa Township. Kyle Obendorf of ZooQ Business Solutions. Kyle Obendorf, the owner and president of ZooQ Business Solutions, and his family moved to Wadsworth when he was 12 years old. After graduation from Wadsworth High School in 1998, Kyle attended Baldwin Wallace University where he received a degree in business and marketing. He has been involved in the marketing and advertising industry for more than 10 years, where he's worked for several great companies in many different roles, 
from ground floor marketing and advertising consultant to executive level roles. Knowing his knowledge and creativity often exceeded the job he was hired to do, Kyle decided to start ZooQ.com in 2013 to provide businesses of all sizes superior marketing products, services, and support. In 2015, Kyle and his family relocated from Cincinnati back to Wadsworth to be closer to family and friends. Kyle's wife Kristen, his daughter Georgia, age 7, and son Gus, soon to be 5 years old, love being back in Wadsworth and look forward to raising their kids in this wonderful family-oriented community. Matt and Shelley Reed of the Sub and Pizza Station Matt and Shelley Reed, owners of the Sub and Pizza Station, both work full-time jobs and run the restaurant. The Reeds also own Doe's Nuts on Wheels food truck and Matt and his brother own U.S. Firestop. Shelley is a nurse practitioner and a Wadsworth native and has a Bachelor of Science degree and a Master's degree in nursing. Matt, originally from Concord, Ohio, is in sales and holds an associate's degree in drafting and a Bachelor of Arts degree in business. Matt and Shelley have been involved in Relay for Life for many years. They also aid the homeless in Wadsworth every week. The Reeds love hosting young talent on their humble stage in the shop. The substation was rooted in Wadsworth by Shelley's mother 37 years ago, and now, after a tragic fire, it is once again a new and vibrant part of the Wadsworth community. This year's recipient for Business Entrepreneur of the Year is Ron and Dan Nagy. This is one of those things you don't know what to say. Uh, actually, I started dating my wife in what, about 1984, something like that. And uh, her father owned Y was a restaurant downtown. So some of you more mature people in the room might remember that. But uh, Harry just passed away. And uh, he always told me what a phenomenal town this was, community, uh, whole area. And uh, one of the reasons my brother and I moved into this town was because Harry was so proud of this town and, and so uh, supportive of it. Uh, second person I got to thank, though, other than my father-in-law, Harry, is my own father, who's here tonight. Pop, you started this mess. <laughs> so I do want to thank my mom and dad who are here, uh, but you guys have got something very, very special in this town. I hope you're very uh, proud of that and uh, thankful for it, and make sure you realize that. So thank you. And if they ever need a spray painter, I'm your girl. I am Michelle Reese, attorney with Day Ketterer Attorneys at Law and one of the Chamber's Board of Directors and a representative from the Wadsworth Young Professionals. Our next award is Business Advocate of the Year. Business Advocate of the Year. Kathy Brightonbutcher of Medina County Economic Development. Kathy Brightonbutcher has worked with the Medina County Economic Development Corporation for three years going full-time in March of 2016. In an effort to grow business, increase awareness of the great businesses here in Wadsworth, and help businesses to continue to grow and thrive, she has organized Made in Medina County Day, where people from all over the county toured companies and may have seen a politician or two working in the plants. In addition, Kathy coordinated the first Wadsworth High School job fair, manages the tax incentives for the city, created the first Employer Resources Expo, represents the city in regional economic development activities, and has met with over 50 companies. Kathy has been married for almost 25 years to her husband John, Director of Educational Technology at the College of Worcester. 
They have a 17-year-old daughter who is planning to attend college in astrophysics and an 11-year-old dog named Fritz. Tom Stugmeyer of Wadsworth Community Radio and the City of Wadsworth. A Wadsworth City Councilor at Large, Tom Stugmeyer serves on Economic Development, Ways and Means, Cable Commission, as well as the Stormwater Commission. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics, Astronomy, and Mathematics from the University of Mount Union and has been a resident of Wadsworth for 35 years. Tom serves on the Board of Directors of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, Main Street Wadsworth, as well as the Wadsworth Salvation Army. He is involved with Wadsworth Community Radio as an on-air personality, along with show and remote broadcasts, on-air production, and studio engineering. Tom most recently served as Interim Executive Director for Main Street Wadsworth. He continues to serve that organization as the Events Chair and the Design and Financial Committees. He is involved with the Lions, Wadsworth Drug-Free Community Coalition, and many other community organizations throughout Wadsworth and Medina County. Tom is also a photographer, videographer, and graphic designer here in the Northeast Ohio area, and he can be bribed with Easter marshmallow peeps. Dave Williams grew up in the Wadsworth Doylestown area and graduated from Chippewa Local Schools and the University of Akron Wayne College. He began his 35-year automotive career in Wadsworth at the Pontiac Oldsmobile dealership with the last 13 years as the dealer principal at Williams Auto Sales. He is serving his second term on Wadsworth City Council and is also on the Economic Development and Planning Committee and the chair of the Public Ways Committee, as well as serving on the Medina County Planning Commission. He recently graduated from the pilot program of the Medina County Government Leadership Academy. Dave also assists with the planning of Made in Medina County Business Expo and the Wadsworth Come Home for the Holidays. Dave and his wife of 23 years, Susan, live in Wadsworth with their dog, Rudy, and a boarded horse named Lonnie. Dave's hobbies include reading, golf, and ice cream. Mine too. <laughs> and the recipient of the Business Advocate of the Year Award Tom Stugmeyer. Thank you very much. Janie, I keep looking at this statute. About, there's something different about that statute. I'm going to tell them about oh, it. No, it's not, that's not the way it looked at this morning. Anyway, so uh, thanks again for, for the award. I really appreciate it. And this is one of those awards that are more of a representation award where one person isn't a, uh, can't be a business advocate without all of you, without the, uh, you know, of course, Dave Williams and Kathy and the rest of uh, the city of Wadsworth, the, the chamber, Wadsworth City Council, uh, Main Street. It, it's a group effort to promote business in town, and it, it, it's nice to receive this award, and, and I appreciate it. But again, it can't be done without you, and I want to thank you. So thanks a lot. Now, uh, some of you might not have known this, but Tom got here early and put a fig leaf on the statue. <laughs> so had, had we seen that, maybe we wouldn't have voted for it. <laughs> or maybe we would have voted twice. Yep. I don't know who put me up here after the short kid. Good evening. My name is Dr. Dane Ahrens and I'm the owner of Wadsworth Veterinary Hospital and I am here to present to you the award for Sustainable Business of the Year. Sustainable Business of the Year. Bueller's Fresh Foods. Bueller's Fresh Foods was founded in 1929 in New Philadelphia, Ohio by Ed and Helen Bueller. With an emphasis on customer service, free delivery, fresh produce, and a clean, friendly store, the market continued to prosper and grew to the current 13 store locations and office warehouse. Ed's business principles of offering quality merchandise at competitive prices, close control of operating expenses, and the recruitment and training of top-notch people has been passed through the generations of Bueller family leadership. 
Their Wadsworth location was founded in 1976, and Bueller's has been faithfully serving their neighbors in the Wadsworth community for 41 years. In 2011, the Bueller family redefined the business model with the development of ENH Family Group. Still owned and operated by the family, this structure allows for diversification and provides flexibility to strategically grow beyond a supermarket. Looking to satisfy your sweet tooth? Stop in for one of their yummy chocolate cream sticks. The Galaxy Restaurant. Whether dining in the Circle L Steakhouse, wine room, sports bar, patio, or banquet center, customers always come first. That philosophy has driven the decision of owners Robert and Phyllis Leatherman and their family since opening in January of 2000. They are now celebrating 17 years. The Galaxy has expanded over the years, enlarging the outdoor patio in 2005, adding the wine room in 2006, and rebranding the dining room to Circle L Steakhouse in 2012, named after their cattle farm in nearby Burbank. The farm currently supplies ground beef and featured steaks at the restaurant. The banquet center accommodates up to 500 guests. From corporate meetings to elegant weddings, the Galaxy provides expertise with award-winning chefs and experienced staff to make your next event a success. The Galaxy also hosts numerous fundraisers and other events throughout the year, including a Halloween costume party. No matter what your mood or craving, you'll satisfy it at the Galaxy. Sunway Cleaners George and Karen Smith purchased Sunway Cleaners in 1991 from Mike and Lil Vukovic. The Vukovic's started Sunway in 1959 at 136 Akron Road, currently the New Style Chinese Carryout Restaurant. Over the years, their continued hard work has enabled Sunway Cleaners to triple in sales. The cleaners moved to their current and larger location at 130 Akron Road in 1994, leasing space to Papa John's Pizza. Born and raised in Kent, Ohio, George graduated from Kent State University. His wife Karen was born in Wadsworth, and currently the Smiths live in Sharon Center, just off Medina Line Road. George's most enjoyable time of day is working the counter in the afternoon with their customers. With their current staff of six employees, plus George and Karen, they have a combined 133 years of service, with one presser just celebrating 35 years. At Sunway Cleaners, it's always top quality work. In the 2017 Award for Sustainable Business of the Year, goes to the Galaxy Restaurant and Banquet Center. Oh, he's really tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have to recognize the other nominees, Sunway Cleaner and Bueller's. I've been a life long res resident of Wadsworth and I'm a lifelong resident or I'm sorry customer of those two establishments. So on behalf of my parents Bob and Phyllis Leatherman and my siblings Bob, Karen and Sean, we greatly appreciate this award. We couldn't do it without our s chefs and our staff here at the Galaxy. We've been here for 17 years and we hope to be here for 17 more. Thank you. So please welcome Wadsworth Mayor Robin Lawbaugh to present the key to the city. Well, first of all, congratulations to all the nominees this evening, as well as all the award recipients, as well as those that are coming forward uh, later this evening. But at this time, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about our key to the city award recipient today. Uh, some of you may know this individual, uh, but quite frankly, some of you may not. Uh, and it's because this individual does not seek after any sort of um, accolades or any sort of pat on the back. Uh, this individual just goes around uh, quietly uh, doing service for many others uh, and has been a, a very faithful resident of the community for many, many years. Um, in fact, I think it would be, have been difficult for me to get this individual uh, to come to this 
uh, to receive an award if um, the person was aware that they were receiving it. Uh, but the person is a, a, a person of faith uh, who loves family and loves serving those in need. This individual was born and raised in Wadsworth, uh, in fact, the third generation of Wadsworthians. Uh, his grandfather was a carpenter and built many homes in Wadsworth. And those skills were passed on to then uh, this person's father and then himself as well. He played football for Wadsworth High School and then he played football for Muskingum. And, uh, and then later he got his MBA to Ashland University. Uh, it was actually at College of Muskingum where he met his wife of 37 years. They have two children, so of course another generation of Wadsworthians. Uh, he recently retired 38 years ago, or excuse me, after 38 years of service, not 38 years ago, I've been a long time ago. He's 100 years old now. <laughs> He recently retired 38, uh, I can't even say this, after 38 years of service uh, from B&W, and uh, he was a manager of operations planning there. So I want to talk to you a little bit about his service, um, his lifetime of service. Uh, you may have crossed paths with him, first of all, at church. Uh, for example, he served uh, his par as parish finance council. He chaired that for several years. Uh, he was a lector for many years. Uh, perhaps you served with him in the community or seen him in the community. He might have coached one of your uh, boys' basketball teams. Or perhaps you saw him on uh, Board of Zoning Appeals uh, for, uh, the as a community commission. Um, I was trying to think of when I first met this individual, and I determined it was during Kaleidoscope Playground when that was built, and he used his skills during that particular process. Uh, you might see him as a neighbor. Um, I heard a great little story where um, and this kind of tells you the type of person that he is. Um, his neighbor across the street was a person that could use a little bit of help, and he noticed that uh, one of their lights were out um, on the, the front porch. So he did what every neighbor does, is he goes out and gets that special light bulb, purchases it, brings it home, and then replaces that light bulb. Now, so doesn't everybody do that? I don't think so. <laughs> so just always thinking of others and being very kind. Uh, he loves particularly serving those in need. Um, for example, he devotes many, time, many hours to the um, organization Faith in Action. And many of you are familiar with that organization, but they provide transportation to our senior citizens to um, transport them to their medical appointments and obviously helping them to become more independent and stay in their homes longer. So he does that. Um, he's volunteered for many years uh, doing that. Uh, obviously, he doesn't know those individuals or maybe he gets to know those individuals, but. Um, just a labor of love. Uh, but what I really wanted to focus on was is his devotion to Habitat for Humanity. Once again, another organization that is very familiar to many of you, uh, but their goal is to advocate for affordable housing, uh, to provide stability and independence for homeowners. Uh, the Habitat homeowners, they help build their own home, and they consequently also help to build others' homes as well. But they work alongside volunteers, and then they are able to eventually have uh, pay an affordable mortgage and be able to live in their home. Um, Habitat strives to provide a hand up, not a hand out. Well, he's been building with Habitat for 12 years. In the past eight years, he's served on the board of Habitat. Uh, he's been serving as the building chairman. And basically, the building chairman puts together the timelines, they coordinate subcontractors, and they work with volunteers and things like that. Um, but he's worn many hats, and, and uh, Habitat's just recently received, and they have uh, now one full-time employee. Uh, one full-time employee, Jan, want to raise your hand? <laughs> they recently uh, uh, have, have a, an individual that uh, has been doing that. But uh, this particular uh, volunteer has been um, you know, coordinating lunches, buying supplies ahead of time, you know, overseeing the employee, um, just doing everything that needs to be done. Um, he has donated several hundred hours on each house that's built. And um, they have built 15 houses over the past 12 years that he's been serving. So if you do the math, it's absolutely astronomical. Because 15 homes um, times, let's say, an average of 375 hours. Basically, he's donated over 5,600 hours just on the homes themselves. That does not include his time and effort on the board. 
Um, so if my math is right, he's donating around 500 hours a year, which is basically, um, it's, it's amazing. Um, three months worth of full-time work. So, and he's done this all having a full-time job. Uh, he's now recently re retired, so I kind of am worried about how much time he's going to be spending <laughs> for different efforts. But at this time, I'd like to have our this year's Key to the City Award recipient, Matt Seifert, to come on up here. <laughs> And I have to say, I always hate doing this because um, this award often is given to those, as I mentioned, to those that don't mm -hmm. seek after the limelight. So it's probably not the funnest thing to do, but if you would like, we'd like to have you say just a couple words. <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> well, I, I guess uh, the words that come to my mind is speechless right now. So I'm stunned. Um, I wasn't given any advance notice, as, uh, as the mayor uh, said. And of course, I've known the mayor for, for a while, right? I've known her family, mother and father. So it's, I'm deeply touched. I'm deeply touched by uh, this recognition, but it's the, it's the families that I work for and, uh, and all the volunteers that help me. Uh, Jan, the, my, my uh, assistant, you know, we get the job done. And uh, of course, we like to be unsung. We like to be uh, behind the scenes, if you will. So. Anyways, I, I do appreciate this, um, Mayor, and all the rest of uh, the, the, uh, the recipients tonight, too. I'm, I'm humbled just to be in this crowd so, and to be mentioned. So thank you again. Good evening, I'm Eric Allwood with Huntington National Bank. I'm also the chair for the Wadsworth Golf Committee. The next award is for Community Improvement of the Year. Community Improvement of the Year. Kids Country of Wadsworth. In September of 1993, Christine and Rick Burkholder realized their dream of opening a state-of-the-art educational child care facility in Stowe, Ohio. Two years later, Fairlawn Kids Country was added, and within a few years came Green, Hartville, Medina, and now Wadsworth. Christine Burkholder has a bachelor's degree in education and has herself worked in the field of early childhood education for more than 30 years. Providing a quality early educational experience that served as an extension of the home was the driving force that prompted Christine to open her schools. The main goal the Burke holders have for their centers is to exceed the expectations of the families who enroll in their children's educational programs. It's that simple. Our promise is to inspire the hearts, minds, and imaginations of each of the children in our programs. Christine has been married to her husband Rick for 30 years. They have four children and are from the Hartville area. Menwa Apartments, the Medina Metropolitan Housing Authority. The Medina Metropolitan Housing Authority, a political subdivision of the state of Ohio, was founded in 1953. Its mission then, as it is now, is to provide affordable housing properties and programs for low and moderate income households in Medina County. Medina Metropolitan Housing Authority currently serves over 1,200 households each month. Menwa Apartments, managed by the Housing Authority and owned by a local nonprofit spin-off of the First Mennonite Church of Wadsworth, needed a major overhaul, its first since being built in 1974. The two groups worked together to secure private and public sources to recapitalize and rehabilitate the property. Over $2 million in improvements were completed. Additional efforts were made to keep the property affordable to low and moderate income seniors. The property is smoke-free, pet-friendly, energy efficient and inviting to visitors. Rental assistance has been made available for all who qualify. Medina Metropolitan Housing Authority is an equal housing opportunity provider. Retreat at Stonecrest by Redwood. 
Redwood began in 1991 with the idea of creating a simpler, more relaxed, and peaceful lifestyle. Steve Kimmelman, founder of Redwood, wanted to build apartment communities that were more like neighborhoods of single-family homes. This meant providing residents with private attached garages, personal patios, and freedom from noisy upstairs or downstairs neighbors. Twenty-three years later, Redwood has grown into a fully integrated development and management company with communities in Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Iowa, North Carolina, and South Carolina. In 2015, construction began on the Redwood development within Wadsworth, located behind Walmart. Since then, they have strived to participate locally within the chamber, community, and surrounding neighborhoods. Retreat at Stonecrest is excited to now be a stable part of the greater Wadsworth community. They hope to continue to deliver more than is expected, communicate open and honestly, and demonstrate integrity in all aspects of their business within Wadsworth. And the recipient is Medina Metropolitan Housing Authority, Manuel Apartments. Very cool. Well, on behalf of the Housing Authority and the Manuel Board of Trustees, I thank you for this. And I want to extend uh, to you, Danny, that, and the members of the chamber, just how special this event is. This is very cool. Uh, more importantly, though, it's special because I get a chance to tell you real quickly just how important what we did was at Menwa Apartments. It goes back to 1974 when Menwa was built, but we just did $2 million worth of renovations. And for chamber members, they can acknowledge that that's an economic development project. I can tell you that many tens of thousands of dollars of the, the contracts went to local contractors, and many more thousands and thousands of dollars went to local suppliers. And as we all know, contractors like to have a nice lunch and maybe a special beverage or two after work, um, and they made sure that they went to local establishments. So in many ways, this was a win-win-win situation. Most of all, though, it is a win for the 70 senior citizens who get to call Menwa Apartments home for many, many years to come. So thank you very much for this. We appreciate it. I didn't want my husband to see the Menwa Apartments because he might want to move in there. Why would he want to do that? Yeah, leave me. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Jeff Novak. I'm with Advanced Insurance Designs. It's good to see everyone here tonight. Uh, I'm the past president of the Chamber Board of Directors, and this award is for Outstanding Nonprofit Organization of the Year. Outstanding Nonprofit Organization of the Year. The Children's Center of Medina County's mission is to nurture abused and neglected children through collaboration, advocacy, treatment, and prevention. In 2007, the center began to provide a child-friendly, neutral location for families to receive a complete medical evaluation, a forensic interview, case management, follow-up, and foster care visitation. The Children's Center provides care with compassion for the children and families that are dealing with abuse. By reducing the number of times children speak about their abuse, the center works closely with law enforcement, child protective services, the prosecutor's office, and the medical community to reduce any further trauma to the child. In working with these team members, the center promotes healing by providing a health care treatment plan, help to increase prosecution of those who abuse children, and to increase awareness to the public about abuse, and aid in helping foster children and their families reconnect during their time of separation. Feeding Medina County works to ensure no one goes hungry in our community. Through their Weekender program, over 1,000 bags of food are packed weekly for children on free or reduced cost lunches in the county. Feeding Medina County provides supplemental food to 350 seniors monthly in our county, along with a monthly food distribution at the fairgrounds, servicing 120 families for Medina County residents. 
Feeding Medina County operates a one-acre garden to distribute fresh produce in the summer months and provide free transportation of food orders to 24 Medina County pantries. Feeding Medina County coordinates summer food distributions in Wadsworth and Lodi from May through September. They partner with Main Street Medina to host the nonprofit showcase and Pizza Palooza every summer at the Medina Square. Feeding Medina County is also the sponsor of the Medina County Spring Leadership Ball, honoring 30 Medina County High School senior ladies. This nonprofit is supported through donations, grants, and fundraisers with three staff members and over 100 dedicated volunteers. The Wadsworth Fish Organization was formed on August 9, 1969 in the basement of the Wadsworth United Methodist Church. Marion Mockel was instrumental in helping to form the group. At the time, she was a brownie leader at Franklin Elementary School and learned from the school nurse of the many low-income students whose families had little food were having trouble paying utility bills or were being evicted. Mrs. Mockel had heard of an international group called FISH who provided financial assistance to those in need and she recruited volunteers to form a local organization with volunteers manning phones to provide assistance. In April 2013, FISH volunteers began meeting with clients for intake sessions held in borrowed space at St. Mark's Episcopal Church. FISH is currently pleased to announce our all-volunteer group has relocated to a more permanent space donated by Quality Heating and Cooling. All bunnies used for financial assistance are donated and FISH continues to assist with food, utilities, and rent. And the recipient is? Wadsworth Fish. Good evening. I'm Lucy Harvey, a volunteer with the FISH organization. Um, on behalf of our clients, volunteers, and our board members, thank you. Thank you to the Chamber, and thank you to the Wadsworth community. We've been truly blessed by the many, many donations and support we received. And now I'm going to give a little plug. Um, as the video showed, we have a new home, and we're all excited about that. Our open house is this coming Sunday from um, 2 to 5, so please come and see us. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joanna Perino. I serve on the board of directors and as fundraising chair for the chamber. And it's my pleasure this evening to present the final award, which is for Outstanding Business of the Year. Outstanding Business of the Year. First Merit, Huntington Bank. Huntington is a full-service banking provider, primarily operating across an eight-state banking franchise of Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Their welcome philosophy centers around deep relationship building capabilities to best meet each customer's specific need. Huntington shares a commitment to demonstrate these core values in the work we do every day with accountability, own it, communication, have open and honest collaborative dialogue, continuous improvement, always getting better, inclusion, be open-minded to all, passion, act with positive and persistent pursuit of results. Service, earn customer loyalty for life and teamwork. Work with and look out for each other. Huntington's specific community goal for Wadsworth is to follow these core values, but with a heavy concentration on economic and small business growth. As we move forward in 2017, Wadsworth has Huntington's commitment to help serve this great community by partnering and volunteering to help make a positive difference in the great organizations that Wadsworth has to offer. 
Lewis Lamb Professionals. Lewis Lamb Professionals was established in 1998 to provide civil engineering and surveying services to both private and public clients. In 2000, owner and president David Lewis moved the business to his hometown of Wadsworth. Today, owners Dave Lewis, Jason Brenner, Joe Burgoon, and their employees specialize in residential and commercial development, roadway and utility design, and surveying. Lewis Land Professionals' work typically includes designing parking lots, stormwater management drainage systems, sanitary sewers, and water distribution systems. Their surveyors use GPS and robotic surveying equipment every day to measure properties and help construction contractors. A few of their projects around Wadsworth include Wadsworth High School and Community Center, Artwright Stadium, Overlook, Isham, and Valley View Elementary Schools, Giant Eagle, Freshwater Church, and the Park Center and Smoke Rise Drive Extension. You may also notice the Lewis Land Professionals surveyors working with the contractors on the High Street Widening Project. The owners and employees enjoy working in Wadsworth, watching it grow, and continue to be a great city. Paramount Plumbing. Paramount Plumbing, a family-owned business, has been serving Wadsworth and surrounding communities for over 25 years. Owner Jim Reynolds has lived in Wadsworth with his wife and three children since 1988. He was raised in Medina, graduated from Highland High School, and went on to earn his bachelor's degree in marketing from the University of Akron. While attending the university, Jim worked with a plumbing contractor on weekends and during the summers. After graduating, he decided to pursue a career as a plumbing contractor, earned his plumbing license, and opened Paramount Plumbing in 1989. Today, Paramount Plumbing works with more than 30 local and national builders, plumbing over 200 new homes annually, and recognizes that their great employees are their biggest asset. Additionally, their service department serves over 300 customers throughout Northeast Ohio each year. Paramount Plumbing is proud to be part of the Wadsworth community. And the winner of the 2017 Rosie Award for Outstanding Business of the Year is... Paramount Plumbing. Thank you very much. I'm not sure if I should wait a minute or two to find out if Moonlight won instead. Okay, that's all I got for you. Um, thank you very much, though. This is uh, such an honor to be recognized by our community, the chamber, everybody that nominated us and voted for us. We thank you very much for all that you do. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my wife of almost 29 years, Kim for helping this whole thing go for this long. Again, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Well, boy, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I had a great time back there. Yeah. Well. We're wrapping it up for another Rosie Awards. I hope you just so enjoy learning about the people and the businesses in Wadsworth, I and mean, they're incredible. And um, thanks to everybody for coming. Thanks again to Kay. Oh, and I wanted to say our state representative, Steve Hambly, if you could stand up. He came to visit with us tonight. Mm -hmm. The only way I got him here was I told him he was up for an award. <laughs> <laughs> didn't. So be careful going home. Enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you so much. <laughs>